Hi, I'm Alex with Beaumont Technologies, and in this video we'll be giving an, an overview of another one of Beaumont's patent and mail flipper options, specifically with what is called the iMark insert option. Most of you who know what melt flipper is, recognize it as it applies to multi-cavity tools to correct any imbalance between those cavities. It really is a no-brainer in most four plus cavity tools. The thing that most people do not recognize, however, is that these same concepts that are applied to fixing these imbalances in a runner in a multi-cavity tool can also be applied to fixing cosmetic defects such as weld lines, gas straps, sinks, voids, and even warpage issues in tools with cavitations as low as one. This video will specifically focus on weld line creation, followed by how we can not only make this weld line stronger and less visible, but also where exactly this weld line forms on the part with Melt, Melt Flipper's iMark insert option. The test part we will be looking at in this video is what we call the A-frame. It is molded out of an acrylic material and has a nominal wall thickness of two millimeters throughout. As you can visualize, the material will flow through this part and end up creating a weld line where the two flow fronts would come together here. Now let's take a look at a short shot of this part to see exactly how this weld line is formed. Here you will see a short shot sample of this part. Note the current filling pattern and where and how the weld line is starting to form. There are two distinct flow fronts that come together that form what one might call a butt weld. The main driver of this filling pattern is shear heating. Shear heating develops around the perimeter of the runner channel during plastic flow, represented here in red. Since plastic is laminar flowing, this continues through the gate and into the part, creating the fill pattern we are seeing here. Please note that this high sheared material is also hotter, less viscous, and in turn, easier flowing. There really is nothing we can do to improve this condition through process, so we are stuck with it unless we change something drastic in the tool or implement the correct melt flipper option. We are now going to implement an iMark insert set to see what we can do with this weld line. The iMark insert set has now been implemented. Now let's take another look at a short shot of the part to see what happened to the filling pattern. Here you will again see the short shot sample without melt flipper, and here you will see the short shot sample with melt flipper. As you can see, there is a distinct difference between how these parts are filling now. There are two major things I want to point out here. One being how much further the flow fronts are on either side of this part versus where they are on the part with iMark. And two being how the weld line is forming on this part versus how it is on the part with iMark. The two flow fronts are coming together in what we might call a meld line versus the distinct butt weld we mentioned earlier. This is because the iMark melt flipper insert is rotating the higher sheared, hotter, less viscous material laminates that developed around the perimeter of the flow channel back in the runner to the center of the flow channel, allowing it to continue up the middle of the part and in turn creating a weld line sooner with a hotter temperature melt. Now if you think about your goal in creating a weld line, the hotter the melt of that plastic that is coming together to form that weld line, the longer the time for the molecular chains to entangle, in turn creating a less visible and stronger weld line. We are now going to test the strength of the weld line with and without melt flipper by doing a three point flex test. Now let's finally get back to the most beneficial part of the iMark adjustable insert option, which is the adjustability. As you just saw, we slightly adjusted one side of the iMark insert. Now let's take a look at how the part filled. We are not only getting a stronger, less visible weld line, but we have now also moved where the weld line will form, possibly to a non-visually cosmetic area to the customer. Please also note that we are never restricting any part of the flow channel. We are just strategically rotating where the higher sheared material is within that flow channel. 
If you would like to learn more about how Beaumont's patented melt flipper options are guaranteed to correct imbalances in multi-cavity tools and fix cosmetic issues in single-cavity tools, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.